I guess I'll start off by saying rest in peace, James Earl Jones. It's a weird feeling. I don't know, when you're growing up and you're watching all these people, your favorite actors, you know, all these all these uh, entertainers we grew up with, it seems like when you're growing up, they're going to live forever. And it's just weird growing old and one by one, <laughs> we end up being at the, the same place. I mean, 93 years old is um, pretty long and illustrious life, though. So at least at least he, he gave the world 93, nine decades. When I saw the news, though, I definitely felt a little bit of a, a sadness. Now, with James Earl Jones, voice of Darth Vader. And also for me, he was Solomon Kane, General Solomon from Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun. I'll just quickly show you all some song ideas I have saved on my computer and kind of give you the yay or nay as to whether or not I think I'll refine the idea someday and actually release it as a song, or if it's destined to see the rubbish bin of plans that came undone to quote the Death Cab for Cutie song. I don't think there's any ideas I actually hate, which is crazy because I started guitar five years ago and not too long into that I was experimenting with sketches, just trying to record something simple. And even my earliest ideas where the technique is awful and whatnot, I still hear the idea. So now when, now that I'm better at guitar, singing all this stuff, I can go back and maybe clean those earliest ones up. Here's one I, I whipped up yesterday called Respect, because one of the um, samples is called Respect Percussion Loop. It's just a chill beat. Watch, I'll mix it in from zero, though. Start with what I started with. A kind of chill pad, you know? All the mixes, volumes, everything's just a work in progress. Just the general idea at a, at a glance, though. This one's chill as hell. I want to tell a whole story with this one. But I'll figure out how to maybe sauce my guitar in there. I, th I figured out the chord because this sample tells you wonder saw pad C minor. So I went and played the C minor chord on the guitar over here. Oh, this one's interesting. It's called Inside a Lightning Flash, and uh, the stuff doesn't exactly sound in tune, the, the samples and stuff I have, but it still works for me. Like, let's start with what I started with. It's called Old Guitar. Then I brought in this uh, Tempura drone, which is kind of an Eastern sounding drone. and then just some drums. And you know, I have just two minutes of this. I gotta like section out a song and add other layers and sounds and turn it into a story. But first I try to get something I could kind of listen to over and over again. But I think I was kind of iffy on the drums. What I really liked was the vibe between these two layers. That tempura drone adds a lot of mystery, and then the old guitar, I'm not entirely sure what it sounds like. But overall, I hear something kind of mysterious and contemplating the enormity and the immensity of things. What it, what it means to be a single person in an infinite universe, I guess. This one's called Yet Another Chill Beat. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. That's the drum layer. This is the uh, synthesizer layer. Here we have a bass layer. And here we have a marimba. And these ones are all the basic layers. So once again, I, I haven't done any effects or anything. I just got the idea to work with. But going from a 20 second loop to like a, even like a two minute song I've discovered is challenging. 
Oh, this one was me doing some electric guitar, trying to get some good electric guitar tone in the DAW because I was running the guitar straight to the audio interface. And it's actually not too bad. That's my guitar playing right here. With the drums. Oh, this one was cool. I really need to focus, turn these into some songs. I want to throw my vocals on them though, but that's the thing that is easily the most insecure thing for most people. We had a dream, where did it flee? And every teacher says the same thing, love is the key. So why do we dilly dally? We need to help those in need. I can't believe I threw these vocals that day, but I'm even better now, so I should probably go back and re-record it. Oh yeah, it's this one. This one I was super proud of. It's one of my favorite pieces of music. Here with the guitar. I got the electric guitar solo, listen to this. This one kicked ass, I'm surprised I got this. That last note was the highest note on the electric guitar and I bent it up at the end. Well, anyways, I've rambled for long enough, so let me know in the comments what you think of my songs. Rest in peace, James Earl Jones.